Hi, welcome to Automation Testing Tech. In in this video, we will see advantages and disadvantages. In our previous videos, we have seen that as part of protractor series, what is protractor, what is angular, and advantages of angular. So in this video, we are going to see advantages and disadvantages of protractor. So I will highly recommend that please go through the previous videos also to get more information and clear understanding. So in this video, we are going to discuss about protractor advantages and disadvantages. So first we'll see advantages. Protractor runs on top of Selenium WebDriver. So all the capabilities of Selenium are supported. So in our previous video, we already discussed that Protractor is a wrapper on top of WebDriver JS, means Selenium with JavaScript. So the same thing we are mentioning here that Protractor runs on top of Selenium WebDriver. So all the capabilities of Selenium are supported. So what you are going to achieve with the Selenium, same thing can be achieved using Protractor. So that is the first point. So it has extra locators when compared to Selenium WebDriver, that is Angular specific locators. So in our one of the previous videos, we discussed something about Angular specific information. So what do you mean by Angular specific? That it has an extra info locators when compared to Selenium WebDriver. So in our Selenium WebDriver, we already discussed that it will support eight, type of, eight types of locators, ID, XPath, CSS, link text, partial link text, all these things. Apart from that, you have some extra locators in Protractor. So that we will discuss in our upcoming videos. But when you're coming, when you're talking about advantages, you have Angular specific locators that can be handled by Protractor. So that is one of the biggest advantages when you talk about Protractor advantages. Okay. It has built, sorry, it has default weights, which waits for Angular, which is not present in Selenium WebDriver. So it is in blue color that it is one of the biggest advantages when you automate Angular based applications using Protractor. Okay. If you want to automate the same application using Selenium, that can be achieved, but you need to write some waiting conditions that you have seen the thread dots leaves, implicit weights and explicit weights. So without using those, Angular applications can be automated using Protractor. That is a, one of the biggest advantages when you compare to Selenium to use Protractor for to automate Angular applications. For that, I will show you in our next video or upcoming videos one best example. By looking at that example, you can clearly understand that if it is Angular applications, what is the problem when you automate the same thing using Selenium and what is the advantages when you automate the same thing using Protractor. I will give you some simple example by using that it will be very clear for you that why to go with Protractor when you automate Angular based applications. Okay. So for that, please wait until for the next video or next video or upcoming videos. I'm not very sure the line, but uh, definitely I will show you one best example. Then you can easily understand the differences between Protractor and Selenium. Okay. And coming to the fourth point, easy to write and manage page objects right when you want to create a framework using page objects it is very easy when you talk about a protractor okay it supports behavior driven frameworks like jasmine mocha and cucumber right uh, in our previous videos we already seen that what is jasmine jasmine is a behavior driven development framework so when you talk about uh, advantages protractor supports jasmine mocha and cucumber so as part of this video series we'll see jasmine if in the in the future we, can, we may see using cucumber also but first we'll see using jasmine so in our upcoming videos we'll talk about jasmine in detail but it supports behavior driven frameworks like jasmine and what is behavior driven framework when you use that even non-technical person can also understand what we have written to automate the application okay that is one of the biggest advantages when you go with behavior driven framework and image comparison is easy in protractor and it works great so when you talk about selenium uh, disadvantages we say that image comparison is not possible after that we have seen some of the third party apis called shutterbug and something else uh, to achieve that one also in our uh, what you say in automation testing channel you can watch those but same thing can be achieved in protractor easily you have some plugins that by using those you can easily achieve that image comparison also 
running protractor scripts in multiple machines is achieved easy way in protractor so if you want to go with uh, parallel execution or multiple browser execution it is very easy that we will see already uh, in our upcoming videos so these are all advantages when you talk about protractor advantages but along with that we have some disadvantages it supports only javascript language uh, when you go with uh, uh, what you say selenium it supports so many languages you can use javascript you can use java c sharp python Perl, ruby so many languages but when you commit uh, when you're coming to the protractor it supports only javascript and it supports typescript also but coming to the typescript how protractor is a wrapper on top of webdriver js and the same way typescript is also a wrapper on top of javascript so it's very similar to javascript that also if uh, we'll see in our upcoming videos but in simple terms it supports only javascript language if you want to uh, write protractor scripts in java that is not possible okay so if you are coming with the java uh, sorry selenium with java background you need to learn javascript a little bit okay and robot class support is not there when you talk about uh, selenium with java we have some robot uh, class to automate uh, window based actions but that is not possible in the protractor so these are few disadvantages uh, when you talk about a protractor okay so these are all about uh, protractor advantages and uh, disadvantages okay and so guys if you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to this channel to get the updates on protractor and selenium with java automated related stuff okay please subscribe to this channel to get the notifications okay and don't forget to hit the bell icon then easily when when i upload any video it you can get notified and you can watch that video so that's all in this video thank you